Hi, I'm Chao Wei Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and from the Frederick Health Hospital. Today we're going to be talking about PCI with zero contrast. Our patient is a 75-year-old man with stage 4 CKD. He has sarcoidosis with pulmonary and cardiac involvement, and several years ago, he underwent ICD for VT and a lung transplant. He presented to our hospital with chest pain. Echo showed EF of 45 to 55%, and he had mild new anterior hypokinesis. His troponin peaked at 5.8 nanograms per mil. His creatinine was actually at his baseline of 2.9, uh, which gave him a creatinine clearance of 24 mils per minute. And he was referred for coronary angiography. On diagnostic angiogram, the RCA was small and with only mild disease. The left circumflex had no significant disease. And the ramus uh, was normal as well. The culprit uh, was a severe stenosis uh, in the proximal uh, to uh, mid LED. So to save contrast, only three shots were taken and only eight cc's of contrast was used. Uh, but unfortunately, despite this, his creatinine increased to 3.5 uh, the day after cath and then peaked on day two at 4.2. Um, PCI had to wait a few more days and on the day of his PCI, uh, his creatinine had improved back down to 3.1. So our plan was to use as little contrast as possible and possibly even no contrast at all. We would use IVIS uh, to assess the lesion and the PCI result. We would wire the LED and the ramus as well as the little diagonal branch to give us landmarks for stent placement. And this technique of wiring everything is uh, known as skeletonizing. Uh, afterwards, uh, we would do a limited echo to ensure that there was no pericardial fusion uh, that could potentially suggest a wire perforation. So we ended up wiring the LED and actually the circumflex. Uh, the small diagonal branch uh, distally could not be easily wired. Um, we then perform IVIS uh, to assess vessel size and lesion length. And IVIS showed that the vessel size uh, diameter was approximately three and a half millimeters. Now, because the lesion was fairly proximal in the LED, we also used a guide extender here, advanced over both wires to give us an additional landmark uh, to localize uh, the ostium of the LED. The uh, lesion was then uh, dilated with a 3.0 millimeter compliant balloon, uh, stented with a 3.5 by 38 millimeter or DES, and uh, we post dilated uh, with a 3.75 millimeter NC balloon. Post-PCI IVIS showed good stent expansion and strut apposition throughout, and there was no obvious evidence of edge dissection. Uh, because uh, no contrast was used, a limited echo was done, and which showed no evidence of pericardial effusion. Uh, the patient did well. Uh, he was uh, discharged two days later uh, with a creatinine of 2.8, uh, which actually is a little bit better than his baseline. So there are actually several case reports of zero contrast PCI, even for complex lesions, including uh, CTOs. Uh, so recently, uh, this uh, Japanese group looked at a series of 81 patients at their centers uh, receiving non-contrast PCI. Uh, about two thirds of the PCIs were ad hoc. So contrast was actually used for a diagnostic portion, uh, but uh, no contrast was allowed for the PCI portion. Uh, they also allowed a single contrast injection after PCI uh, to confirm um, final coronary flow. Uh, so about half of these uh, lesions were actually complex type C lesions. Um, and uh, uh, indeed, 8% uh, of the patients uh, received a rotational atherectomy. Uh, they were able to achieve successful PCI in 90% of the cases, um, and there were no perforations or death, uh, though there was 11% uh, no reflow or slow reflow, um, and there was still a 5% rate of acute kidney injury, uh, presumably from contrast received uh, during the uh, diagnostic portion. 
So here are some uh, take home messages. Um, for the right patient, uh, zero contrast or ultra low contrast PCI is possible and relatively safe. Uh, PCI guidance is achieved with liberal use of IVIS, um, the use of multiple wires to skeletalize the target vessel and provide landmarks for PCI. Uh, if the lesion is very proximal, uh, guide extension catheters are useful to better uh, localize the ostium. Um, I, I think it's reasonable to give minimal contrast injection post PCI to assess results. Uh, two to three cc's is unlikely to cause uh, kidney injury. Uh, but if you are going to go for absolutely zero contrast, uh, then an echo post PCI to make sure there is no uh, pericardial effusion uh, is reasonable. Uh, thank you for watching.